CNN's Brian Stelter appeared at the Atlantic's Disinformation and Erosion of Democracy Summit. <laughs> that right there is funny. It's like a joke, the beginning of a joke, right? CNN's Brian Stelter appeared at the Disinformation and Erosion of Democracy Summit last week and went viral after a college freshman called out Stelter and CNN for being perpetrators of spreading disinformation. Let's watch. You've all spoken extensively about Fox News being a purveyor of uh, disinformation, uh, but CNN is right up there with them. They pushed the Russian collusion hoax. They pushed the Jesse Smollett hoax. They smeared Justice Kavanaugh as a rapist, and they also smeared Nick Sandman as a white supremacist. And yes, they dismissed the Hunter Biden laptop affair as pure Russian disinformation. Uh, with mainstream corporate journalists becoming little more than uh, apologists and cheerleaders for the regime, is it time to finally declare that the, uh, the canon of journalistic ethics is dead or no longer operative? Uh, all the mistakes of the mainstream media and CNN in particular seem to magically all go in one direction. Are we expected to believe that this is all just some sort of random coincidence or is there something else behind it? It's too bad, it's time for lunch. <laughs> uh, you have 30 seconds. No, I mean, there's a, there's a clock that says 30 seconds. But, but I think my honest answer to you, and I will, I'll come over and talk in more detail after this, is that I think you're describing a different channel than the one that I watch. Uh, but I understand that that is a popular right-wing narrative about CNN. So contrary to Stelter's <laughs> rebuttal, it turns out most Americans agree with that college freshman. A recent YouGov poll found that Americans view the Weather Channel as the most trustworthy media organization. But they're shills for, for big thunderstorm. No, I'm just kidding. Dubbed CNN <laughs> the most polarizing media outlet between Democrats and Republicans uh, in the study. And I appreciate uh, a lot of what that kid had to say. And also that he did phrase his question in the form of a question, which is always the thing that happens, uh, which doesn't happen when you're at uh, events and I, I speak at events and then w when somebody gets up and you know gives their monologue against you it's not even a question that it's just their statement and then they sit down so he did yeah. he did make it a question yeah he did and he pointed out a lot of stuff I mean yeah. and, you know and you know Brian Stelter his response just being like well you know I mean first of all time for lunch yeah of course you know you'd want to avoid that question completely but I mean you know Russia collusion Jesse Smollett Kavanaugh, uh, the 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 San, Nick Sandman, Hunter Biden laptop, I and mean, they really have suppressed a lot of the information that would help the right. They they clearly do seem like they are acting as propagandists and not actually as journalists or news that is neutral. Um, they're clearly not neutral. We know that, but you know I think there is a good question there. Is like at what point do you just declare yourself mm -hmm. as propagandist versus actually being a news organization? Well, right, and, but and just the rel the the relentless coverage of even if what mostly what you're saying is correct, but like all you do is talk about January 6, for instance. All oh, they right. do is talk about it's the January 6 network for the last year. Right. Maybe now it's they've moved on to Ukraine stuff, uh, which probably they actually cover with uh, somewhat more uh, uh, expertly or or and I wouldn't necessarily say neutrally is not the right word, but they they have kind of expertise yeah, pro against other uh, cable networks that covering these kinds of things. But they, you know, just for a year plus, it was just every wrinkle in January 6 and so much kind of breathless coverage or about, you know, the Mueller report and kind of preparing their audience, which is very, you know, liberal resistance audience, that there's going to be, you know, the, it's, it's this is it. It's, you know, the, the Trump's going to be arrested. This is the next stage of this. And like that moment is, or we're going to, you know, here's, we're going to find the evidence that Russia and Trump colluded, like, but that never, that never comes because you're never going to get that. And, uh, and it's that kind of, I think, misleading that is the most worrying thing that they do. And I say, you know, I say that as someone who's been on, I've been on Brian Stelter's show. I, I, uh, he's a, he's nice to me. I don't agree with everything he does. I don't disagree with all of it either. Uh, I, I think in some ways he's, uh, he's probably, from my point of view, one of the more responsible voices on the network. I know that's not a popular opinion, but I, I don't care. That is not a popular there. opinion. Yeah. That is not a popular opinion at all, but okay. You know, <laughs> uh, I think what's really telling about the poll is that people trust the weather channel more than anything else. And even then, who trusts the weather channel? I mean, who, who like actually trusts the weatherman? You know, it's always like, unless you're living in sunny Cal Southern California or San Diego where it's like always 70 and sunny. Okay, that's fine. But the weather is often wrong too. You know, they tell us, oh, is there's, it? yes, it's often, you know, it's like, it's kind of the joke is, 
Well, they tell you it's going to rain today. Well, it's an but, old you know. joke, but isn't it? Do you think it, they're more accurate these days? I don't know. I, I don't, I've never listened to the Weather Channel. I just look at my phone, right? And I look at what it says. You know, it has like a minute to minute breakdown of whether it's going to rain or not. And it's generally pretty accurate, right? I mean, because it's minute to minute, sure. They tell you, hey, by the way, next in the next five minutes, it's going to rain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's because the rain cloud, they can actually see it. Usually, but, you know, it doesn't check- usually. This could be totally wrong, but I don't think it usually rains if they said it's not going to rain. Sometimes they say it's going to rain and it doesn't rain, but you ne- you don't right. get okay. rain unexpectedly. Sometimes yeah. it's better than they tell you. Well, maybe and maybe that's the way in which they like they promise dramatic weather and then you don't because they're trying to excite right. their like I don't know. Well, it's like when I was right. in I was in Florida. I was at Disney World uh, last year during the hurricane that swept through Florida. What was that hurricane? I forgot the name of that one. But, um, you know, and they were like, oh, it's coming, it's coming. And we were looking at the Weather Channel all day, every day, watching to see if the hurricane was going to come hit us. And, you know, they definitely even dramatized the Weather Channel. You know, they they're trying they to get- definitely <laughs> dramatize hurricanes, tornado. Yeah, the, the, right. the really bad storms, the snowstorms. Like, Snow, right. They're always promising huge death amounts of snow and everything closes and then you get like a dusting it's like really so, i mean here we are see and this is the point here we are and we're now questioning the weather channel and it's, but what next? but even that even then they're still the most trustworthy of all of the news out there is the one that even we still spend five minutes questioning so what does that tell you about all the rest about cnn about you know uh, MSNBC, question everything Fox isn't that what we tell our uh, we, we tell our viewers we question yes. everything you can question, question us everything. we question each other we question ourselves yes yes all the time so <laughs> but yes i loved seeing this kid just get up there and basically rattle it off and of course the laundry list is even longer than that and i'm sure it's the same for fox news certainly for msnbc um, but there is just a lot of propagandizing that seems to be going out on out there rather than news journalism. I mean, where you know what is happening, what is happening? Yeah. So yeah, well, and there's some news journalism going on at all three channels. It just tends to right. be overshadowed by the more opiniony, you know, clickbait driven or you know, rewarding yeah. your most extreme audience member driven or whatever it is that compels it. And, and genuine belief. I mean, they also just have a bunch of talking heads working for all these networks that are you know, very yeah. ideological, have very strong views and get to share them. And, it's, you know, and they, they sit alongside people who are mostly just kind of trying to deliver the news in this kind of very awkward um, yeah. arrangement that I think right. becomes less and less tenable over time. But you just have to be like, I'm clearly opinionated. You're opinionated, Kim. We're giving our viewers the all. news. You're not. Oh, no. <laughs> You're not opinionated at all. No, you have no I'm opinions. very neutral. I'm a moderator here, don't you know? <laughs> I am the one that's keeping the peace between, between me and Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know about that, but a little right, bit of well. fake news. But anyway, we'll have more rising after this. Stay with us.